An Introduction to the Science of Hadith by Ibn Salah Shahrazuri. Category 53. Nicknames Continued. The Most Influential Book in the Science of Hadith. These books, specifically the Sahih of Bukhari, the Sahih of Muslim ibn Hajjaj, and the Muwatta of Malik ibn Anas include Sinan ibn Abi Sinan al duali Sinan ibn Salama, Abu Rabi'a Sinan, Ahmed ibn Sinan, Um Sinan, Abu Sinan, Dirar ibn Murra al-Shaybani, and the others are Shayban, God knows best. There is no Abida in these three books except Abida al-Salami, Abida ibn Humayd, Abida ibn Sufyan, Amr ibn Abida al-Bahili, everyone else is Ubaida, God knows best. Ubaid is pronounced Ubaid wherever it occurs in these books. Likewise, likewise Ubada is pronounced Ubada wherever it occurs, except in the case of Muhammad ibn Abada al-Wasiti, one of the teachers of Bukhari, God knows best. Abda is pronounced Abda wherever it occurs in these three books, except in the case of Amr ibn Abada, who is mentioned in the introduction of Muslims' book, and Bajala ibn Abada. However, there is some disagreement regarding them. Some also give them as Abda. Some of the transmitters of Muslims' book gave Amir ibn Abd, and that is incorrect, and God knows best. In these books, Abad is pronounced Abad, except in the case of Qais ibn Ubad, God knows best. There is no Uqail in these books, except Uqail ibn Khalid, Yahya bin Uqail, Banu Uqail for the tribe. The rest are Akil. God knows best. There is no wafid at all in these books. Every instance in them is waqid. So wafid and waqid. God knows best. Apologies. No Arabic text given. Gentilix. The expert Qadi Iyad said that these books do not contain ub ubuli and everything in, everything in them of this form is to be pronounced ali. In fact, Muslim related many hadith from Shayban ibn Farrukh and he is Ubuli. However, as as he nowhere in Muslim's work appears with the gentilic Iyad, he cannot be faulted. God knows best. In the two Sahihs, we do not know of Bazar except Khalaf ibn Hisham al Bazar, Hassan ibn Sabah al Bazar, Mahabid ibn Sabah al Bazaz, and everyone else in these two books are Bazaz. God knows best. There are only three people with the gentilic Nasri in the two Sahihs and the Muwatta. They are Malik ibn Aws bin Hadathan al Nasri, Abdul Wahid ibn Abdullah al Nasri, and Salim, the client of the Nasris. The rest of the names of those books are given as Basri, God knows best. In these books, in these books there is one sin called Tawazi, and he is Abu Ya'la Muhammad ibn Salt al Tawazi, who appears in the book of Bukhari in the chapter of apostasy. Everyone else is Thawri. Apologies, that could be Tawazi or Tawadhi, no Arabic given, including Abu Ya'la, Mundir ibn Ya'la al Thawri, whose hadith both Bukhari and Muslim include. God knows best. Sa'id al Jurairi, Abbas al Jurairi, and al Jurairi, who is not further named but transmitted from Abu Nadra, are the only ones having this gentilic in these books. These works also contain al Hariri, namely Yahya bin Bishr, the teacher of Bukhari and Muslim. God knows best. They also contain, contain Al-Jariri, namely Yahya bin Ayyub Al-Jariri in the book of Bukhari, one of the descendants of Jarir ibn Abdullah Al-Bajali. Jari in these books is a single individual and he is also known as Sa'ad, whose gentilic refers to Al-Jar, the seaport in the coast of Medina. Al-Judda, that is modern day Jidda, and uh, not stated here but it's pronounced Jidda as well. Judda, Jidda, Jidda, God knows best. Everyone else is Harithi, God knows best. Al Hizami is pronounced Hizami wherever it occurs, and God knows best. Salami, when it's referred to an Ansari, is Salami. Gentilic referring to the ban, uh, the Banu Salima. Jabir ibn Abdullah and Abu Qatada are representatives of them. The experts in the Arabic language pronounce the gentilic form Salami as Namari and Sadafi and similar ones. Most of the scholars of Hadith pronounce it sal sal Salimi, Salami, Salimi, Namari, Sadafi, Sadafi, in accordance with the original name, that is Salima, and that is a solicism, God knows best. Hamadani does not occur in the two Sahihs and the Muwatta. Everything in them with the shape Hamadani, 
uh, Abu Nasr ibn Maqul has said, Hamadani among the ancients, Hamadani predominated, and among the moderns, Hamadani is more common. Sorry, Hamadani and Hamadhani. Uh, he is right. God knows best. Apologies, no Arabic given. This is merely an outline. If a student were to travel to study this material, it would be a worthwhile journey. God, he is exalted, willing. It is the duty of the hadithologist to commit these homographs to the inmost part of his being. Regarding some of them, there is a threat of undoing some of the previously mentioned unique names. I read on the book uh, of Qadi Iyad for some of them. I seek refuge in God for this and for all of my affairs. He, he be praised, knows best. Stay tuned for uh, category 54, which is homonymic names, gentilics, and so forth. Ma'rifat al muttafiq wal muftarik min al asma wal ansab wal nahwiha. Apologies, no Arabic given. Stay tuned for many more parts.